so after owning this Jeep for nine months now I finally have it ready to run so first off I want to thank all of you who contributed to the success of getting this Jeep running I had guys all over local worldwide Romania Spain UK you name it everybody contacted me and gave me advice and for that I would like to say thank you all I do appreciate that a lot okay guys so while I was cleaning this Jeep for the first time in months I was thinking to myself what what am I going to say what what will the content be of this video so as you guys know in the previous video I blew up my turbo so let's start with that I know, it's still dirty in here. What I've done is I've replaced my stock turbo, the one that this Jeep actually came with. So that's back on there. Stock airbox is on there. I know this little strap is just temporary. I'm looking for another airbox. I've also kept my catch can, which I hope to serve just as a little bit of a backup because I do feel this Jeep still needs to run in. It's got a little bit of a blow by. It could be the rings that still need to seat. And on this side, you can see my catch can and I've got an external oil pressure sensor. This gauge I need to get into the Jeep somehow. Not sure how I'm going to get this little pipe through there and then where I'm going to mount this. But this is utmost important as the existing sensor on this Jeep, they just don't last. The new one I put in already broke again. So what's the point? So I'll rather trust this and then we'll be good and I'll also have to put in a boost gauge somewhere in the Jeep now as for the bumper this thing is mashed up it looks bad it's old we will I have already ordered some parts to make my own bumper this is gonna get interesting because I want to make a new bumper my style and focus on making my own headlights as well this is potentially going to be an epic video so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button and follow this channel because that's going to be awesome now as for the rear of this jeep this looks <laughs> the most outdated you can ever see in your life so same plan we will be making our own little bumper at the back and you have to stay tuned because i'll be using cad 3d printing laser cutting everything i have to my capability to make the best bumpers and modifications to this jeep i possibly can now looking from the side you can see that this jeep is sitting low that is also a plan i've got is to put this jeep on a lift kit and then hopefully it will look better and drive better off-road so guys you know that I don't normally keep a vehicle this long to get it fixed. If I don't get it fixed under my budget, I normally just let it go. So for this one, I think I went a bit over budget, but it's because I want to keep this Jeep. And I'll tell you why. So years ago, I hated diesel engines. I absolutely hated them, especially in the Jeep format, because they are bad and they are expensive and they are difficult. This is not my first diesel mercedes diesel engine that i ever had so let me tell you guys rebuilding this engine has actually changed my perspective on these diesel motors i love them the engineering behind this is phenomenal so i would like to really keep this jeep with the diesel engine i was this close putting a v8 in it but luckily i listened to you guys and your comments and your thoughts and that's exactly what I did. I rebuilt it, a new engine that's going to be good for hundreds and hundreds of thousands of kilometers if well maintained, which I plan to do. So guys, here's the hot part. Let's talk money. This thing was expensive. It was way more expensive than it should have been. So let's start off with how I acquired this Jeep. 
So I saw a listing on Marketplace. I asked a buddy of mine to go and have a look at it. I paid the money to the guy. I struggled to get all of the guy afterwards. We struggled to get the Jeep here. So eventually I got it here. So I'll be listing all the prices in South Africa rands, but I'll also show what it is in US dollars. So the Jeep was 23,000 rand. That's not bad, that was cheap. But I didn't know what was the condition of it. The guy said it was running, it was on the road, no license fees, whatever. Okay. So my buddy went to go fetch it and there was a huge hiccup. He couldn't take it after I transferred the money. So I had to get a guy to get it to me. That cost me one and a half thousand rand, which is not bad. Then eventually I got it here and the injectors were leaking. So I bought another set of injectors, second hand, three and a half thousand rand. That's currently in here. And then I don't even want to go into the amount of money I spent trying to diagnose and fix the previous engine with additives and whatever. You all saw the videos before. So I'm not going to use that part of this because I feel that was school fees on my side and I made that mistake. So now let's get to the engine rebuild price. Luckily, through you guys, I've made a lot of friends good friends I must say and I had a friend who had a sub assembly sitting there by his house he told me listen take it 3,000 Rand and you can have it so I bought a sub assembly for 3,000 Rand that's not bad another guy said he's got a brand new engineered head with new valve stem seals new, the valves have been lapped everything I don't have to touch it so I bought that for 3,700 Rand with exchange of another part that I had lying around. So let's call it 4,000 Rand. Then I had to buy the gasket set. The gasket set alone was 3,500 Rand for this Jeep. That is crazy. I haven't heard of that expensive one. But it was Victor Rain's. It's a good quality. So now then I had to buy new bearings for the big ends and rings for the pistons. That was another three and a half thousand rand. Crazy. Then we get to assembly. I can't really add my labor to it because I don't know how long I spend on it, but it's been a while. So tools, I already have the tools. I don't need to spend money on tools. So then we had some maintenance consumables like oil, air filter, etc. That came to another two and a half thousand rand. So we are sitting quite up there. Then don't forget the injectors I bought, but I'm not going to list that as part of this price because they didn't work. So I'll just keep that one side. So guys, in total, that is what it costed me to rebuild this engine and actually have it running. Now the turbo that blew up, I can't take into the price because I had a spare turbo as well. But if I do have to buy a new turbo, 6,000 Rand for another turbo, second hand. Jeez, crazy. And that should be it. So I don't think I did too bad on this Jeep considering it is worth about 65, 70,000 Rand on a good day. So, but to me, it was more priceless. The experience and the learning of this Jeep and actually getting to love these diesel motors as much as I hated them. And some of my friends can contest how much I hated these diesel engines in the beginning. So I think we are ready to go for a test drive. Not to forget, road will be 900 bucks. <laughs> license fees, 1,200 bucks. Not including the license fees that was behind on this. Let's go for a small test drive and you guys can see how good this Jeep actually drives. So this is just going to be a normal test drive, nothing crazy, no pulls. I have to, unfortunately, we're in this engine. But the important part is that we don't have smoke anymore. So guys, she's, smooth, she's shifting smoothly. We're in third gear now, doing about 40. And 
she feels great she's stable on the road going straight steering wheel is a bit to the right I'll have to eventually take it to uh, I have to take it to wheel alignment but that's part of the plan of upgrading this Jeep and building a monster which I plan to do so you guys will have to follow this channel to eventually see the stuff that I'm going to build with this No smoke, just pure driving, awesome here. No funny sounds. I'll also have to regas the aircon, unfortunately. I had to take it apart. So, but that's part of rebuilding engines. You have to take out stuff. So let's make a right here. this thing just drives so well so well we have some creaking noises on the inside I've got loose interior bits all stuff I plan to fix eventually and then this Jeep will be good as new with 317 thousand kilometers on it with an engine that's got like five <laughs> so yeah this I'm enjoying this I'm really enjoying this I can do this I can use this vehicle as a daily so I must mention part of the noise would be the engine mountings which is still pretty hard I mean I made them out of 60 shore so that's pretty hard for engine mountings but they will just last for years I will eventually upgrade them to proper ones or maybe original ones but that will be much later and it's not something I'm too bothered about now there's a lot more that I actually need to do like fitting a new front prop shaft which I don't have and just fixing the control arms and all the bushes but that is all part of the lift system that we have to do on this Jeep as you guys can see we are just driving fine this Jeep is feeling so good. So let's go back home and wrap it up from there. Okay, so now that everybody knows this Jeep is running and the price it costed me to fix this Jeep and to buy it, put your thoughts and comments down below on what you think. Was it worth it or should I have just stop and let it go thank you guys for watching and thank you for all your support i appreciate it a lot keep safe cheers